guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Melinda Brooke. It's so nice to meet you and I'm so happy that you stopped by. Today is Fashion Friday and I thought since you guys loved my Louis Vuitton bag review, I would do a luxury bag unboxing for you guys today. I know that I personally love watching bag unboxing and like luxury haul unboxing, so I figured why not do that for you guys today since I did just purchase a new bag. So for this video, I'm going to tell you guys where I got the bag because it is important. There is like a little trick that comes with where I got the bag for if you're trying to buy real luxury items but kind of on a budget. I'm going to show you guys the bag like both inside and outside. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on me um, and then I'm also going to tell you guys the price difference, which you'll understand a little bit more when I talk about. I'm going to show you guys what fits in the bag exactly so you know how much fits into the bag and how like small it is, like to give you a comparison for size. And I'll show you guys how big it is compared to my phone so you guys can kind of see the size from a bunch of different angles. So yeah. Let me know down in the comments below if you could have any bag in the world what your dream bag would be. But it's time to get into the video, so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to come join my big crazy family. If you like this video, then give it a big thumbs up and let's cue the intro music and get into the video. saying I did not purchase this bag in America I did get it in Poland when I was traveling um, if you guys follow my videos then you know on Tuesdays I post as well and I do post my travel videos um, which I am currently doing kind of like a travel video series um, for the next couple weeks so if you guys are interested in that make sure again hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those videos but um, while I was traveling, which you will see in the travel series, I did stop in Poland and, um, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but Poland is the place to shop. Why? Because everything is already so much cheaper. And then second of all, when you travel in Europe and you shop, if you spend over a certain amount in that, in any store, you can ask for like a tax form and when you go to the airport they give you the tax back from whatever you bought as long as it's over a certain amount so it's a great place to buy luxury items because one most of the time depending on where you go you can find them a lot cheaper than if you were in america and two you get the tax back so you actually don't even have to pay tax which is so nice so Let's get to the unboxing part and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. So they didn't have this actual store in Poland, like where we were, but they did have the brand in like a department store and that's where I found it. So the the um, luxury store was called, I have no idea how to say it because it's Polish, but this is basically the bag that I got my bag in because I got it at this department store. Inside this bag, I have my duffel. And now you'll finally get to see, yes, it is a Burberry bag or Burberry bag. Um, and I love Burberry. It's one of my, <laughs> I'm going to say Burberry because Burberry just sounds funny to me, but, um, I love Burberry. It's one of my favorite luxury, luxury brands because I just like, I think it's super chic. I think their pattern is really classic, kind of like the Louis Vuitton. So I think when you buy certain items from luxury stores that are classic, they're gonna last you forever. And um, I just love the quality of Burberry. And for a luxury brand, yes, they have like a lot of stuff that can be really expensive, but they actually have some things that are pretty decently priced um, and not too over the, like over the top, for example, Louis Vuitton shoes, like sneakers, are like a thousand something dollars. And I know at Burberry you can get a pair of shoes, like their shoes range from like 300 or 400 to a thousand plus. So 
it is a little they do have a little bit more like workable prices like for the average everyday person if they did want to splurge a little bit um which i do really like so this is the dust bag that i got with the bag and then you can just open it up okay so you open it and then Oh my gosh, guys, I, I love this bag. Okay, so to give you a perspective of how big the bag is, this is my phone case, which is the um, iPhone XS Max. That's how, that's a little perspective of how big the, the bag is. It's not too big of a crossbody, but it's not too small, which is what I love. I think it's the exact same size like the perfect size for me so it is a crossbody it has the classic Burberry um, print on it which I absolutely love and adore again I think that their print this print is like such a classic print it'll never go out of style which is why I love this bag because I will literally get to use the heck out of it for years and years and years like this bag won't go out of style I feel like this is a pattern as well that goes with practically everything like there's not really much that doesn't go with this pattern which i absolutely love it has gold hardware which i absolutely love because as you can see like i wear gold jewelry i do have silver jewelry i have some silver rings and some silver bracelets so for the most part i wear gold jewelry so i love that this has gold detailing on it and then take this out the prices and stuff which i'll get to in a second then it's just like a big open pocket and then there is this like little flap here which it technically is a pocket but it kind of suits as a um divider in the bag which is really nice because if i have like valuable stuff or like things i need to always know where it is i'll stick it on this side with the pouch so that's really nice so that's pretty much the bag itself now it's time to talk about the price of the bag so this bag in the u.s costs i believe 900 dollars, something like that yes i like luxury things and i like to if i if i'm feeling up for it and i'm okay to do it i will splurge on a luxury item for myself but i was just not going to spend $900 on a crossbody bag. It just didn't make sense for me. You can, it's really diverse and I will definitely get my use out of it. It's just $900 for me didn't make sense. So I never got the bag. Fast forward to Poland. When we were in this store, they had the Burberry and I wasn't planning on getting anything at all. I was not planning on buying any luxury item. And then I saw the bag. I saw the price. And I'm going to tell you guys what it is in Poland money because you're going to think I'm absurd. So in Poland money, this bag is 2,669. Oh, I forget what their money is called. ZTs, which is Polish money. I don't know. That, that is after tax. So when you convert that to US dollars, this bag after tax is 690 something dollars. Or six hundred and ninety dollars um us dollars after tax people so now this bag has dropped down to a price that i'm not gonna lie for a luxury bag that's quite reasonable for a luxury crossbody bag considering i was at gucci right before i saw this bag and they have let me grab my phone case again a bag smaller than this phone case smaller than this phone case think about that smaller because my phone with my phone case did not fit into this bag for like 908 us dollars they had gucci has a bag a crossbody bag that's smaller than my phone case so 690 us dollars for this bag sounds like a freaking steal to me let me tell you then i remember guys i'm gonna get the taxes back from the bag so this bag is 900 and I mean this bag is $690 US dollars after tax in Poland I at the airport am going to get money back 
I ended up getting like, I think it was 70 something dollars, so almost $80 back. So now this bag cost me $610. So I'm already saving on this bag by buying it in Poland $300 just by buying it in Poland. I know this doesn't make sense to everybody and trust me, I completely understand if, if it doesn't make sense to you and you still think it's not worth it. I respect that, but to me, I'm saving on a bag that I've always wanted and I'm only in Poland once in my life unless I go back, which I really need to go back. But I'm sorry, I'm, I, I, I bought it. I bu clearly I bought it. I had to buy it. Look at this. I, oh. This is the whole point of me telling you about me buying it in Poland is for me to tell you if you travel overseas, seize the moment go shopping for luxury items you've always wanted. So this bag for me cost $610. You will not find that price in America unless you buy it used, which I don't even know if people sell this bag used. Um, I don't think it's like a, a popular item like that where people are buying it used, but if you think it's cute and you wanted it, you could try to find it on like the real real or secondary hand um, sites or apps that sell used bags um, and you might find it for around that price but if you're buying this brand new which is what I did you're not gonna find it for that price so that was a steal for me so now I'm gonna show you guys what the bag looks like on me I do know it it is like kind of short for like some people if they like to wear their bags longer I just don't like that that's not my style just for reference I am 5'5 five five. Um, so keep that in mind when you're looking at the bag on my body. So this is the bag at its longest. So as you can see, it doesn't come that far. My hip is right here. This is it at its medium length. as you can see my hips right here it sits like right on my hip like the top sits right on my hip this is the shortest as you can see my hip is right here so the bottom now sits at my hip now I'm gonna show you guys what fits in this bag okay so the pocket of the bag is right here so I'm gonna use that as like the back so I'm gonna stick my little wallet in here a big wallet I do have like a big Tory Burch wallet that doesn't fit in here but I don't I haven't used that in so long so I just use my like little wallet this fits in here perfectly with the times right now aka corona um, I always have a pack of wipes on me and then I also have hand sanitizer so that's all in the one pocket and then as you can see I still have the whole front so I'm gonna stick my aquaphor which if you guys know me I love my aquaphor aquaphor sponsor me um so I'll stick my aquaphor in here aka my chapstick my phone which again is the XS Max um, iPhone um, I don't I usually take my vlogging camera with me um so since I'm currently using my camera I can't really show you it in the bag so um i just got my hard drive which is actually bigger than my um camera but like thickness wise it's pretty much the same so i'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there as well and that's what it kind of looks like right now and i have sunglasses as you can see the bag oh. The bag zips fine this is like literally everything I would take with me and then some like this is literally my phone my wallet my chapstick my keys will fit in here because my keys are normally like there's plenty of space for my keys as well um, and they're normally attached to like my little Louis wallet anyway so a little my little wallet my keys my phone my sunglasses my chapstick 
wipes and hand sanitizer are on in here and like there's still like a little extra space for me and everyday necessities even like if i'm traveling and i want to take my vlogging camera and just everything i would need if i were traveling and walking around it's just perfect the perfect size but yeah that is my luxury bag unboxing video for you unboxing review kind of video for you guys if you guys like this video remember to give it a thumb big thumbs up let me know down in the comments below what your luxury dream bag is. Um, I can't wait to see your comments and reply to all you guys about whether or not I want that bag as well and if it's on my list. Um, and yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for more videos um, and for more Fashion Fridays. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Drop top, smoking, no cooking, the hot pot. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up, dope in the crock pot. We came from nothing to something.